Adobe recently released Team Projects for Creative Cloud for Teams users. This new feature is in beta for Creative Cloud 2017 and allows multiple users to access a project. Currently, this supports After Effects, Prelude, and Premiere Pro. In this video, we're going to use this feature in Premiere Pro with our Evo Shared Storage solution. I'm going to create a new Adobe Team project that I'll be using for this demo. I've already launched Adobe Premiere, and the start screen presents me with a number of options. Since I want to create a team project, I'm going to click on New Team Project. This will bring up the New Team Project creation window. I'll assign a name for this project, which I'm going to call 425. I'll add one of the members of my Adobe team to this project as a collaborator, which will give them access. Now that I've created my Premiere Team project, I need some assets for it. I'm going to switch to our Share Browser client software for assistance with this. Our Share Browser software allows you to search and index both our own Evo shared volumes, as well as third-party storage such as external drives, NAS storage, or even cloud services like Dropbox. I'm searching for assets that I've tagged with the number 425, which is what I used in the name of my Adobe Premiere team project. One of the many great features about Share Browser is that I can search my indexed media even if it isn't mounted, which none of my Evo volumes currently are. So I'll enter my search for 425, and Share Browser will return all of the files that I have previously tagged with that number. In this case, there are only a few files that match my search criteria. If I felt that there were too many results returned, I could have easily adjusted my search parameters by clicking the gear icon and then clicking on search parameters. This would allow me to easily and quickly customize any search. With my search results complete, I can see that the files I want are on the volume Evo Media. I can also see that they're all in the same directory on that volume is indicated by the path information for each file. If I click on one of the results, it will also show me the comments and tags that I had previously applied to the file, such as the project name here, Project 425. Now that I've found the assets I want, I need to mount the Evo volume where these files are located. I can do that by right-clicking or control-clicking on one of the files. This opens up a list of several options. The one that I want is Mount, which will tell the Share Browser client to mount the Evo volume where the file is located. Once the Evo volume is mounted, the status will change to reflect this in the volume list on the left. I can also preview these videos in Share Browser now that the volume they reside on is mounted. I've located the video assets that I want for my Premiere Team project, and it's time to export them into Premiere. I can do this directly from Share Browser. I select the files that I want, then Control or right click and select Export to Premiere. Share Browser Client will export the files I selected as well as the Share Browser tags and the comments for those files into my Adobe Premiere project. I'll switch back to Adobe Premiere and I have the files that I exported from Share Browser Client in my project. Additionally, all of my Share Browser tags for these files are in the description field, and my Share Browser comments are in the log note field. Now that I have some video assets in my Premiere project, I'm going to drop a few of them in a timeline and create a basic sequence. Before any other Creative Cloud users that I've invited to this project can see the changes I'm making, I need to share them. I do that by clicking this button, which will share my changes. This also opens up a summary of what changes I made and allows me to comment on them if I wish. Thus far, I've created a Premiere Team project, searched and imported media into it with Share Browser, and shared my changes to the Adobe Cloud. Now, I'm going to open this Premiere Team project on another computer. First, I need to make sure that the media I'm using in my project is available on this computer, which is a Windows laptop. 
I'll do this by mounting the same Evo Media volume that I've been using on my iMac. I can do this by double clicking the Evo Media volume in the Share Browser Client, which will bring up a window with some additional mount options. I don't need to make any changes for this project, so I'll go ahead and mount with the defaults by clicking Mount. When it mounts, Windows Explorer will open automatically, showing that it has mounted the Evo Media volume and assigned it to the drive letter Z. With my shared storage mounted, I'm ready to access my shared Premiere Pro team project. I've launched Premiere Pro and am logged into Adobe Creative Cloud as a different user. If I click on Open Team Project, this will open the Manage Team Projects window. Under the Invites tab, I have a pending invite for this user for the team project that I started under a different team user. I'll select the project in the list and click the Accept button. Premiere will then present me with a list of projects that have been shared with the Creative Cloud team account that I'm logged into. I'll select the project I shared from the other Creative Cloud team user account and click Open. Premiere will open the team project and the sequence I created previously is available. And since my media is on my Evo shared storage, all of my footage is online and ready. I can make changes to this project. And then share them back to the cloud. If I switch back to this team project on my iMac, I can see the changes I just made are waiting based on the status of the Get Latest Changes button. The button is active, and clicking on it will get the latest version of the team project. This was just a quick overview of some of the new functionality available with Adobe Team Projects and our Evo shared storage solutions. Please visit our website to learn more.